Hi guys, good morning everyone. Such a lovely Sunday morning and thank you for having me here. I'm Teacher Ku here for today's and I'm going to read a scripture Bible. Okay, but before that, alright, we're going to go through the opening prayer first. Okay, shall we? Now let's hands together everyone. Okay, alright, and close your eyes. Alright, Heavenly Father, we thank you for beautiful Sunday morning. As we go on through our lesson today, please enlighten our mind, give us the strength to participate in our subject today. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright guys, thank you so much for having me here today. Ah, Before that, Let's go to the Lord's Prayer first, shall we? Okay, now, close our eyes and uh, hands together. Shall we recite this together, Lord's Prayer? Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, guys. Wow. Now, today, our scripture reading taken from uh, Joshua chapter 22, verse 9 to 27. The altar beside the Jordan. Okay. So, the Reubenites and Galeites and the half tribe of Manasseh left the Israelites at Shiloh in Canaan to return to Galeate, their own land, which they had acquired in accordance with the command of the Lord through Moses. When they came to Galeot, near the Jordan, in the land of Canaan, the Reubenites, the Galeite, and the half-tribe of Manasseh built an imposing altar there by the Jordan. And when the Israelites heard that they had built the altar on the border of Canaan at Galeot, near the Jordan, on the Israel site, the whole assembly of Israel gathered at Shiloh to go to war against them. So the Israelite sent Peles, son of Eleazar, the priest, to the land of Gilead, to Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh. With him, they sent ten of the chief men one for each of the tribes of Israel, each the head of the family division among the Israelite clans. When they went to Gilead, to Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh, they say to them, The whole assembly of the Lord say, How could you break faith with the God of Israel like this? How could you turn away from the Lord and build yourself an altar in rebellion against him now? Was not the sin of Peor enough for us? Up to this very day, we have not cleansed ourselves from that sin, even though a plague fell on the community of the Lord. And are you now turning away from the Lord? If you rebel against the Lord today, tomorrow he will be angry with the whole community of Israel. If the land you possess is defiled, come over to the Lord's land, where the Lord's tabernacle stand and share the land with us. But do not rebel against the Lord or against us 
by building an altar for yourself other than the altar of the Lord our God. When Achan, son of Zerah, act unfaithfully regarding the devoted things, do not wrath come upon the whole community of Israel? He was not the only one who died for his son. Then Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh reply to the head of the clan of Israel. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, the Mighty One, God, the Lord, He knows and let Israel know. If this has been in rebellion or disobedience to the Lord, do not spare us this day. If we have built our own altar to turn away from the Lord and offer burnt offerings and gain offerings or to sacrifice fellowship offering on it, may the Lord himself call us to account. No, we did it for fear that someday our descendant might say to ours, what do you have to do with the Lord, the God of Israel? The Lord has made the Jordan a boundary between us and you. You, Reubenites and Gilead, you have no share in the Lord. So your descendant might cause ours to stop fearing the Lord. That is why we say, let us get ready and build an altar. But not for burnt offerings or sacrifice. In contrary, it is to be a witness between us and you and the generation that follow, that we will worship the Lord at his sanctuary with our burnt offering, sacrifice, and fellowship offerings. Then, in the future of your descendants, will not be able to say to ours, you have no share in the Lord. Now, that's the end of the scripture reading from the altar beside the Jordan. I would like to share a story about the danger of assumption and uh, misunderstanding. I uh, read it somewhere in the internet. Uh, I would like to share today Okay, for this story. It's very interesting because it's related to what we are just now uh, reading the scripture. Okay, so this is about a lady who decided to take her lunch break in the cafe across the street from her workplace. She bought a small pack of cookies and a newspaper on her way. After finding a place to sit, she ordered a cup of coffee and settled down to read her newspaper in peacefully. Before long, she became aware of someone across from her. She peered from behind her paper to see an elderly man smiling at her and opening up her package of cookies. He noted that here and popped one into his mouth. The nerves, she thought. So she reached across the table, pulled the cookies to her side, ate one to send him a message, and returned to her reading. Soon, she heard the sound rattle again. Oh, it's again her unwelcome neighbor who ate another cookie and smiled at her. How dare he repeat this crime? She stretched across the table and snatched the pack of cookies and ate another more to make her point. She tried to focus on the newspaper, but in her horror, he was at it again. She could take no more. She retrieved the nearly empty cookies wrapper and firmly crunched the last cookie. The elderly man smiled, stood up and walked away. The woman mumbled to herself about people with a lot of nerves and about wasted lunch hour. She got up, tucked the paper under her arm and took her 
check for the coffee to the cashier. She thought about complaining to the cafe manager. As she reached to her purse for her wallet, the package, it was inside her bag. Uh oh To her embarrassment, she realized that she has been eating the man's cookie. She assumed that he had been eating her cookies and was angry over a simple misunderstanding. Uh, this is always the problem with the mankind nowadays, uh, today, with the problem with the nation of Israel too. In this passage for this today Sunday, uh, scripture reading today, we will see that even after their great victory, they found themselves in a situation that almost led to a civil war among themselves because of the assumption and misunderstanding. We can avoid this kind of most misunderstanding if we simply take time honestly seek the truth. When we have a misunderstanding with another person or we have hearing rumors about it, we need to go and check it out. If we really care about this person and we want to be sure about to put the end, the needless rumor or misunderstanding, we need to be part of the solution, not to be part of the problem. So we need to be able to have an open and honest discussion in the spirit of gentleness and not arrogance. So if we find that it was a misunderstanding, then we need to put all rumors to rest and make sure that the issue is settled. Okay, thank you for today, uh, my uh, story for today. And uh, I'm really happy to able to share with you the story that I read that is uh, linked to the scripture today, what we are learning, right? So thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you again. And uh, before we end this session, let's uh, do the closing prayer, shall we? Now close our eyes and uh, hands together. Thank you, Lord, for our classmates who were our partners in this learning session. We are blessed that despite of the pandemic, we are still able to learn and providing the means for us to study through the use of technology. All these things are not possible without you. May you continue blessing us with your divine wisdom so we could continue to learn. May you bless all those who had made this class possible, the teachers and everyone who have contributed to our learning process. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you everyone for having me here today. Have a blessing day. Have a blessing Sunday. Okay, be safe, stay safe. Take care everyone. Bye.